Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we received a huge update to Modern Warfare. It brought a lot of new features, a new LMG, a new camo, <clears throat> and a load of other different changes, patches in terms of fixing bugs and stuff like that. And I'm going to be covering all of them in today's video. But before we do start, make sure you guys are smashing the like and hitting that subscribe button as well and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for both of these are in the description down below. So make sure you do drop me a follow. It is greatly appreciated. <clears throat> but anyway, in today's update, the first off, we had a playlist update. Obviously, we had four new game modes added in. Well, I say new, um, just different uh, game modes updated. Uh, we have Blueprint Gunfight, which is a new game mode. Uh, essentially, it's gunfight, but obviously, you get random classes. In these random classes, it will be random weapon variants. Instead of using the, I don't know, the uh, uh, standard MP5, uh, you might get a... Uh, of MP5 variant of some sort. Uh, I'm not sure what, I can't remember any off the top of my head. But we had reinfected ground war as well, which is essentially infected, but ground war. So there's a lot more players, a lot more people infected off the start. So it makes for a little change to infected if you guys are into infected. I do enjoy infected now and then. Uh, in fact, I did get a 28 kill streak on infected yesterday, actually. Just choked the nuke, which was a shame. <clears throat> and we have 3v3 cranked gunfight. Uh, I can only presume this is a 3v3 gunfight with Cranked implemented, so when you get a kill, you have 30 seconds before you get the next kill, otherwise you will be dead. Uh, which is going to actually bring a whole new dynamic to gunfight, Can I, I might actually give this a try. Uh, it's going to make people push a lot more and be a lot more aggressive, and the rounds are going to be significantly shorter. And we have Shoot the Ship 24-7, which is essentially probably my favourite game mode out of the four which is shipment and shoot house into a mosh pit and it also includes cranked and grind which we've not seen in before. Cranked obviously is a kill, you've got 30 seconds to get another kill or you die. Grind is essentially fracture from Black Ops 3 and it was in Black Ops 4 as well um, where you have to collect dog tags and you have to deposit them at a certain location in order to earn points. Changes to Warzone, we have solos, trios and quads added in, I was already there. We have plunder trios which we've not seen I don't think. Uh, we have the most wanted contract which is instead of a random operator being marked on your tag map you are voluntarily putting a bounty on yourself for any squad to see in Verdansk which is the map. Of course this is great risks but do have some great rewards so you can purposely put a bounty on yourself for people to hunt you down. Um, very interesting it's going to manage to get you a few more kills probably people are going to be hunting you down well it's going to be everyone on the map so it's going to be pretty intense especially if there's people close by. Uh, we have a data pack download, which I had to do as well. I don't know if everyone else had to do that. We had, oh, I had an update, then I had to install the data pack, which was strangely data pack one, which I thought was kind of strange, but is what it is. Uh, so which is today's update includes a required download for PlayStation and Xbox, about 15 gigabytes, and is required to access Modern Warfare. <clears throat> once you install the patch and select a mode, blah, 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 we don't need to know this. So once you've installed it, you will have... General fixes, which is added a challenges tab to the main multiplayer screen for easier access. Before it was in barracks, so that is kind of cool. Uh, adjusted how the audio is played for the precision airstrike, so it follows the play more precisely. Fixed a bug where players using the KBM in game battles. Ah, oh, right, okay. Could make, I didn't know what KBM was then at first. Could make a custom weapon blueprints that could also be used in multiplayer or warzone. <clears throat> Currently, white text will appear when someone is speaking, regardless of team. Now, when someone is on the enemy team, their text will appear red. Okay. I don't know what that is. I've never actually experienced that. Fixed for an exploit on Hackney Yard while playing Infected. Uh, yeah, I know this exploit. It's a glitch spot right on the uh, top of the roof. And I was kind of playing Infected and someone was in that. I didn't have a clue how to kill them. Fixed bug that will prevent players from being able to melee an enemy while on top of an ATV. Um, various out of bounds and exploits fixes. After the last update, Talon's character model appeared stretched with graphical corruption issues while in the squad walk. This has been fixed. Fixed for some season 3 emblems appearing with incorrect text. Fixed an issue with Kruger's eyes while completing a finishing move. Fixed a bug where some watchers were appearing in the wrong direction when gesturing. Fixed a bug where players could lose the option to pick their favourite faction in the operator menu. I experienced this bug myself, I wanted to use Ghost, but it kept deselecting Ghost and giving me just the standard one. Fixed a bug where white lighting could be seen while moving or firing a weapon near specific locations. <laughs> Added a gamepad only dead zone option that allows players to adjust their inner range in which stick input will not be registered. Uh, fixed an issue that prevented party members from editing their CDL loadouts when the CDL quick play filter was active. Um, <clears throat> fixed an issue where the auto run feature would stop when players opening their in-game text chat. 
and I don't know why he would have auto run on, jeez. Fix an issue that prevented players from zooming in and out of the tack map if, ju tack map if jump or bound on mouse wheel up or down, so that's for PC players. Uh, I didn't really experience any of these bugs apart from the operator uh, swap kind of thing. Uh, but I am experiencing a bug currently to do with obsidian camo. Obviously we've got obsidian camo. I'm not 100% have to look it for all guns. But I know for the SMGs it's 15 kills in 250 different matches. And 15 for ARs it's 15 kills in 200 different matches. I think for launchers it's like 200 vehicle destroys. But uh, I'm going for it on the MP5 currently. As you can see by the gameplay obviously I'm using the MP5. Uh, that I just got recently. <clears throat> And I've played about five games, and I've had 15 plus kills with the MP5 uh, in every single game. Well over 15 kills, in fact. Um, and it's not updated my um, my progression, which I thought was really strange. I hope that's fixed, and I hope it is still progression progressing, but uh, I'm just not updating on the progression thing. So I'm going to keep going with the MP5, and hopefully it kind of updates. I don't know. We'll see. So that needs to be fixed. Hope it gets fixed like very soon. But anyway, Warzone changes the ability to view. <coughs> Uh, available XP tokens is not visible in the Warzone menu. This has been fixed. Uh, never experienced that. After being brought back into the match, uh, a player was in a state where they couldn't interact with the team's loadout drop, as they had the revive prompt on them. Uh, prompt on them, even though they were alive. This had been fixed. I never experienced that myself as well. <clears throat> adjusted. Oh, this is some big changes to Warzone. So they adjusted the speed and sizing of the circle. I'm not sure if it's got slower or faster. It doesn't say. But that is going to be a big change to Warzone. <clears throat> We've added the cargo truck back into Battle Royale's solos while reducing turning speed, acceleration and top speed. So it's going to be a lot slower. I never really use vehicles in Warzone because I think it's just dead straight position giveaway. But anyway, especially in solos, not so bad in squads, but yeah. Move the scoreboard to be visible in the pause menu. Uh, fixed for an issue where the after action report was not displaying <clears throat> the total team earnings. Fix a bug where players were unable to equip armor plates while dead silence is active. Uh, there's a new item which is armor satchel. Finding one of these allows you to carry up to 8 armor plates instead of 5. That is huge. These drop on death and can be looted by enemy players. Other players. These do not contain any armor plates by default. Only increase the player carry amount. Guaranteed reward upon completing scavenger contracts. Replaces gas mask as the guaranteed item. Gas mask will remain rare in loot and purchasable at the buy station. So I think by complete, I think that means by completing the uh, scavenger contracts, you can get an armor satchel. <coughs> plunder. We have a plunder rating. So when you finish a match of plunder, you are now given a rating in form of a coin, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and more. The more cash your team collected, the cooler the coin. Get above three point five million to find out the highest rating. Okay. I want, to give that, I want to give that a try. Uh, special operations is uh, have spec ops, so I'm, not, I'm going to skip them. I'm not sure if you really want to hear about them. I doubt anybody does. Uh, <clears throat> and PC, but there is a fix for a bug where players using a Vega 64 GPU could see corrupted outlines and around their character models and weapons. And they've also fixed a crash that occurred to players using the GeForce 900 series graphics card when they loaded the Crosswind special operators mission. Um, so, they don't apply to me, but if you're a PC player, then they have been changed if you are using their graphics cards, which is probably slim. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, and obviously we have the Obsidian Camo, which is probably the main attraction. Like I said, you've got to get 150 kills in 15 different games with uh, your desired weapon. You have to have gold unlocked, and in my opinion, I'm going to unlock the Obsidian Camo, but from uh, videos and pictures I've seen, it looks uh, nothing special. Um, definitely doesn't look as good as regular gold. It definitely doesn't look as good as Damascus. It looks kind of awful. Yeah, it's really easy to unlock, um, but it's a grind. 115 kills in 150 games. Um, I mean, if there's a lot of people in games, I find that the bottom half of the leaderboard won't even have 15 kills. So them kind of players are going to really struggle. It's going to take them ages. But I mean, I get around 15 kills a game, but 150 games is a lot of games. You don't. Understand. It doesn't sound a lot. I didn't think it sounds a lot, but I mean, it's, it is definitely going to be a lot of games. Um, definitely going to be a grind, and hopefully I can unlock it as soon as I can to bring a video on it. There's also a new LMG. I'm not 100% sure how you unlock it. Uh, I just know you have to get 15 kills. No, 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 no. I think it's like three kills. Um, like in around a smoke grenade radius in 15 matches I think it is um, so yeah again kind of simple bit of a grind still and I think you have to use an LMG as well 
uh, to do this, uh, which is going to be uh, it's going to be easy to get. Um, whilst uh, obviously shoot the ship is on, so make the most of that. It's going to be a lot, a lot beneficial for your 15 kills for the uh, obsidian camo as well. Obviously, it's going to be a lot easier to get 15 kills on shipment and shoot house. Um, you shouldn't really struggle with it that way. Um, so hopefully it's uh, here for a while. I hope so anyway. Um, so it should help massively. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking of the new patch, what you're thinking of the Obsidian camera, the changes to Warzone, and anything else. Oh, one last thing. There is supposedly as well, um, obviously now we've got the skins for the quads and the uh, other vehicles in Warzone uh, and Grand War. There is rumoured to be, well, data miners have found a gold skin for every single one of these, for a quad, a one of them buggies, uh, the truck, and the, I think the helicopter as well. Gold skins, not sure how you want them yet, nobody knows, but as soon as I do find out, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the patch and the changes to the game on Warzone and the new camo and the new LMG. Whatever you want to talk about, let me know. Definitely let me know what you think of the new camo. I think it's uh, not great at all, but we'll see. It might be different in-game. <laughs> I hope, anyway. Um... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you do smash that like button. Make sure you are hitting that subscribe button as well. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.